six years ago, an Australian chap by the name of Jeff Tilly contacted Six of One. Um, he was attending the convention for his first for the first time, and as he was flying into Manchester Airport, he was looking to get a, a lift from there to the village and someone to kind of show him the ropes and look after him as it was his first time. As I was I'm based in near Manchester, I agreed to give him a lift and and look after him. And as a thank you for that, I was given this t-shirt. There are only two of these in existence. I have one and Jeff has the other. Uh, and it's, they are the prisoner commandments which we all know. There shall not be one pushed, two filed, three stamped, four indexed, five brief, six debriefed and seven numbered. Uh, and on a side note, I was wearing this t-shirt um, when I was uh, moving into uh, government house the following year uh, on the first day of the convention and I was interviewed for a, a radio show in the Midlands I believe it was uh, by an Elvis impersonator so that's a, another interesting side note for this t-shirt which is a very nice gift from uh, a friend from Australia when I created Your Village Council a number of years ago, I also created a character called Number 18, uh, who is the leader of Your Village Council. And to go along with that character, I wanted something unique to stand out. And what I decided on was the colour purple. Uh, it's always been one of my favourite colours. So I asked a friend, Judy Barrow, who makes Ian Garbett's blazers. And he, he has a lot of blazers. Uh, I asked her if she ever found a purple jacket my size, could she make me one? And she eventually did. So this is my purple blazer for leader of the village council number 18. Um, I also picked up a purple and black villager sweatshirt to go along with it. Uh, so it can be used as just generic villager if needed. Um, and to go along with that, I also have a purple top hat. Uh, I also have a regular black top hat that I can use as well. And just to make it clear that he is the leader of the council, a gavel. Uh, so, so this is number 18, leader of the village council in his purple jacket. Uh, and I believe this is the only purple jacket I've seen as I wanted something unique and that I've not seen before. This DVD collection is of Nowhere Man. Uh, some prisoner fans may be aware of this. It was created in the mid 90s by Lawrence Herzog who went on to work on Lost amongst other things. And it was created as basically what the prisoner would be if it was made in the 90s. That was his goal to begin with. Uh, it stars Bruce Greenwood who is probably best known as being Captain Pike in the rebooted Star Trek franchise. Um, it's <clears throat> the series is about a man called Thomas Vale, who is a photographer, and one day he goes, goes out to dinner with his wife, goes to the toilet, comes back and she's gone. And his entire life has been erased. His bank account's drained, all his friends pretend that they don't know who he is, and it's all over basically a uh, picture he took and the series is follows uh, Tom Vale as he tries to find out who erased his life and it has a lot of prisoner elements in there there is um, in one episode there is a town of people who are called disenfranchised and we've had this happen to them their entire life's been erased and they all a lot of them set up a town which has a lot of prisoner-esque imagery. There's marching bands and elections. Um, there are other episodes where there is a doppelganger of Thomas Dale that has a lot of uh, kind of influence from Skitside Man. And uh, by the end of the series, it does suffer from kind of what you call uh, studio interference. But overall, this is a great series and something definitely something prisoner fans should check out um, this series this 
Now this box set I have here is a fan made set which you could only get on if you knew which Yahoo group to go on around the mid 2000s, early 2000s. Um, there was eventually a proper studio release of a box set but uh, unlike this fan made version uh, the, the studio box set doesn't have any interviews with the series creator this is something this this set does have is a each episode has a, a talk over um, commentary track by the creator Lawrence Herzog and in a lot of them he does talk about how the prisoner influenced this series so I would really recommend if you can find this go out there and get it because this is a, a really really good good series based on the prisoner this DVD box set is Harsh Realm it's by Chris Carter who most famously did The Exiles and it's about a soldier called Thomas Hobbs who is sent into a military virtual reality simulation of the United States um, where there is a recreation of every single person in America created there and this could be of interest to prisoner fans as it delves into a lot of issues surrounding the nature of identity and what it means to be a to be an individual I'm not sure how easy this would be to get hold of nowadays and um, this is something I've had for about 10-15 years but it's something that's well worth a look in 2018 Six of One was contacted by the Culture Vulture uh, there's a series of events going on across the country uh, celebrating the events in in France and Paris in particular in 1968 which led to a lot of social change over in France um, they were putting on a series of screenings and one of them was uh, the Fallout episode for The Prisoner um, this took place in an old disused courtroom in Leeds Town Hall uh, I was asked to go and give it I went and give a talk about the prisoner six of one and specifically the episode fallout uh, as, it, as I say it was in a an old disused courtroom and I effectively stood where the judge would have sat in the courtroom uh, with all the audience sat in the public gallery uh, and as a thank you for attending and giving that talk uh, I received this which is a signed flyer for the event and this has been signed by Alex Cox who was promoting his book at the time um, there are three of these uh, each one is marked A, B and C and I have A uh, I believe one of the others is held by Roy Stambro who uh, gave the talk with me and the other I believe is was given away as a, as a, a raffle prize uh, at some point during the event and uh, this was a nice little keepsake for, uh, for giving that talk this is the first of two framed photographs taken by myself this is the very first picture I ever took of the Green Dome uh, this was from 2003 uh, the very first ever six of one convention I attended I've attended every convention since this and this is a, a nice framed picture on the wall as I said this was the very first picture of the Green Dome I ever took this is the second framed photograph of mine and this is a walk on the grass sign that is usually placed by the chessboard at a six of one convention uh, the effect used on this photograph is a technique known as cross-processing and what this is is a technique with film photography whereby you use a film usually used for overhead transparencies and you have it um, developed using regular chemicals and what this does is it creates interesting colors contrasts uh, white balance washout and so forth and pretty much every time you use this technique you are more or less guaranteed a different result and this is a rather nice image that I took one year and I just really like the effect so I had it framed 
This is the first of two items by an artist friend of mine called Del Boy. Uh, we went to university together and we're still friends to this day. Um, his artist name is Del Boy. Um, I'll stick a link in the description. Um, he uses a technique known as stenciling, which is the technique that Banksy uses for lots of his works. Uh, he used stencils and spray paints to build up layers. A number of years ago I asked him to do me a piece of art for me wall and give him free reign on the images and this is what he came up with. Uh, he chose it as it's a, it's a non-standard image of Magoon but it has a lot of raw emotion and feeling and angst uh, and despair in the first. There's a lot of, of emotion there and the, this really jumped out for him. Uh, this is one of three. I have number one and the piece is known as BC and U. I'm not too sure what happened to the other two pieces but this is something that takes pride of place on my wall and I'll stick a link in the description to Delboy. This is the second piece of art by Delboy. This is a piece known as number six and there are seven versions of this. Uh, he used the same image of Magoon put on different backgrounds for each different piece so although there are seven uh, pieces in this collection each one is different uh, the piece is known as number six and this this was the last one he he had he'd sold the rest through his website this was the last one so he gave it to me and this is a, a lovely piece for the wall This here is a number 61 badge that has been signed by Catherine McGowan. Uh, I, I obtained this at the 2014 Six of One convention in Port Marion. Uh, Catherine McGowan was the special guest that year. Uh, I believe this is a one of a kind item. Um, other people who had badges signed tended to go for number six. Uh, so I, tried, I went something different and went for number 61. And it's a very nice item and uh, looks good on the wall.